Aloha YouTubers. The, these here are the Makara Abalone series for offshore trolling and they are beautiful, beautiful rods. They, they are MK-7R-601XXH. Uh, there's six rods in the series. Uh, they're all six rods are either one or two piece. They're heavy to extra, extra heavy ranging from five foot eight inches to, uh, I'm sorry, five foot, yeah, five foot eight inches to six feet. My impression of, of this line here is that they are were made to target anything from small, medium to large species. And it, it's, it borders between a short rod and a long, long, longer rod so it uh, the verse is very versatile in what you can use it for aloha guys uh for maybe 18 19 years i used to troll not for a living but i did it as being part of a uh, commercial fisherman and i love to troll i brought in some some fairly big fish some big ass uh martin can i say that i guess so <laughs> I, I brought in some big martins just under a thousand pounds two of them that size um, I, I bought in some decent yellow fins about 180 to 230 so let me explain why I went with this it's the uh, abalone inlays you can see it here it has abalone inlays this is a carbon composite rod blank so um, just keeping up with what the times are it's lighter stronger than the glass that we used to use back in the days it has Alps deep press 316 stainless steel guides here can't get much better than that. That's quality right there. It has a customized Alps al aluminum real seat and abalone underlay. Here's the abalone underlay and uh, the real seats right down to the gimbal butt. Okay. Um, these are IFGA tournament rods that they have straight but aluminum butts. As you can see here, these are straight. Uh, the bent butts are bent, but I might get two more with a uh, lesser strength rod later on. But this is expensive just to get these. So we have shrink tube. See, all X flock shrink tube is great when your hands are wet or covered with bait slime or fish slime. So less chance of slipping. And the the roller guides here, all the roller guides are Alps roller guides and the reason why you want it so large because you want the clearance for any knots you have in the line to go through it the shrink tubes like i said are for wet hands and they're, they're called like x flock or x guides you know along that level all right and uh, let me see you also have the oh i already pointed out the, the abalone inlays i kind of like that being a, a shell seashell collector i kind of like the look of the abalone inlays kind of classy yeah okay so that's above the foregrip here. The rear grip is um, still the same thing with the um, X flock on it. And you're going to, these Makara rods are backed by a limited lifetime warranty, which means for the, the, for the duration of the material. As long as the material holds up, it starts to um, deteriorate on its own. If it's from natural causes, you're covered. You're sending it in and then replace it. But if you were to drop it or get an axe and gouge it, yeah, that's on you. Okay, let's go look at the uh, foregrip. Um, let's see, that would be this piece right here. See the foregrip? And that would be the long piece here. The foregrip uh, on these rods here are 16 inches. The handle style, see, is straight. The hand, Not bent, but it's straight. The handle style is just known as A, handle style. Line weight that the rods are rated for is 50 to 120 pound line. Um, number of guides is five plus tip. Product sec section one. So these are very, very strong. They are one section rods. The rear grip, this is the part here. The rear grip is uh, shorter. That's 11 to 5 eighths inches. The total rod length is a one piecer, but the total rod length is six feet even. The rod power is um, extra extra heavy XXH rod taper um, M-MF weight is 27 ounces each and I would say that that pretty much covers everything um, this line here started off I think around uh, 
yeah, 10, 10 years ago, roughly, and it started off with uh, longer, lighter um, rods, and it, it progressed into these heavier rods.